Jennifer Lopez reveals it took her two years to recover from engagement to Ben Affleck self-destructing in front of the entire world and Gigli flopping. Jennifer Lopez suffered a career setback in 2003 when Gigli with Ben Affleck bombed. To make matters worse, her engagement to the actor ended in a very public way. Now in the December issue Vanity Fair. The 48-year-old actress has reflected on that difficult time. The Bronx Beauty said she lost her sense of self and thought maybe she sucked when the movie tanked. Watched her fairy tale romance with Ben self-destruct was no walk in the park either. I was eviscerated, the performer said of Gili as she was interviewed with new love, baseball vet Alex Rodriguez. And after Gili was trashed she said, I lost my sense of self, questioned if I belonged in this business. Thought maybe I did suck at everything. The pain of splitting from Affleck, who gave her a pink diamond engagement ring, was intense as well. My relationship, with Affleck, self-destructed in front of the entire world, she noted. Indeed, tabloids picked up on every detail of the breakup, from how Ben could have strayed to where their wedding was supposed to take place. Jennifer added, it was a two-year thing for me until I picked myself up again. After Gigli she appeared in 2004's Jersey Girl Then Shall We Dance. The 2005 film Monster-in-Law with Jane Fonda did so-so and she had flops. After that, An Unfinished Life, Border Down, El Cantante and The Backup Plan. In 2010 American Idol called. No one from my team wanted me to do American Idol except Benny. Lopez told VF, but I felt I had something to offer, and in the back of my mind, I thought, maybe people will get to know me a little bit better. With reality TV, you can't hide who you are. You just can't. It's going to come through. She also noted she felt when she was younger she had to do something great all the time and that caused pressure. She's a seeker, her pal Leah Ramini told the magazine. She's always trying to improve herself, her relationships, be a better friend, a better daughter a better mother, a better person. She's not closed-minded. Jennifer and Alex also talked about their attraction. We are very much twins, said the former New York Yankees baseball star, 42. We are both Leos, we are both from New York, we are both Latino and about 20 other things. Lopez also relayed a story about their first date at the Hotel Bel Air. After he learned she was single, the slugger went to the bathroom to collect his thoughts then told the pop star, you look sexy ah. At first the date was uneasy. He was sitting there in his white shirt, very confident and manly, but then he was just so talkative. She said, I think he thought I was going to be this loud person, but I'm not. I just listen. So he's talking, talking about his plans, about how he had just retired from baseball, about how he saw himself getting married again, all these things you wouldn't normally talk about on a first date. I don't know if he thought it was a date. I thought it was a date. Then I knew he was nervous because he asked me if I wanted a drink. I said, no, I don't drink. And he asked if I minded if he had one. He was nervous, and it was really cute. Alex said, I didn't know if it was a date. Maybe we were seeing each other at night because of her work schedule. I went in uneasy, not knowing her situation. He continued, it would be incredibly productive for me to sit with one of the smartest, greatest women in the world, especially for a guy like me who is coming through tough times, rehabbing himself, re-establishing himself to folks out there. I thought it would be a win-win no matter what. But then she told him around the third or fourth inning that she was single. I had to get up and go readjust my thoughts. I went to the bathroom and got enough courage to send her a text. So I'm sitting there and he's walking back, and I get a text. Lopez continued. It says, she looks at A-Rod. You can tell her, he said. You look sexy af. Jlo said the text read. She added, and then it took a turn. The fire alarm went off, and we had to evacuate. No, really. The fire alarm went off. She also talked about how they met by chance in the winter of 2016 in Beverly Hills. I almost yelled out Alex, but I am the shyest person when it comes to things like that. She began, I could literally just have walked away, but I walk over and tap him on the shoulder and say hey, I had just come from a promo for my show, Shades of Blue, so I'm dressed like my character, like a boy, Timberlands, jeans, curly short hair. He looks at me, I say, it's Jennifer. He says, you look so beautiful. And if there was any doubt that they are very into each other, Jlo added, I understand him in a way that I don't think anyone else could.
and he understands me in a way that no one else could ever. She added, in his 20s, he came into big success with the biggest baseball contract. At the time, I had a no, one movie and a no, one album and made history. We both had ups and downs and challenges in our 30s, and by our 40s we'd both been through so much. And more importantly than anything, we had both done a lot of work on ourselves. They have been inseparable ever since. This cover comes out after the two took in the World Series over the weekend. Both shared images to social media where they were watching the baseball game from outside their private box in a Houston. Texas Stadium. Fun night with my baby, the Shades of Blue actress wrote in her caption. Alex also took to social media to rave about their fun night. Great time at Game 4 of the World Series. He noted he was with Mariano Rivers Angelo. Lopez looked gussied up for her boyfriend of over six months as she wore a tight black dress with several gold bangles and diamond stud earrings. Also with her was her son Max who she had with singer Mark Anthony. He wore a blue and white check short and an official World Series baseball cap by 47. Me and Max in Houston, said the All I Have Vegas performer. At his first World Series, she added, and she also said in a hashtag that it was me and my baby boy. The Jenny from the block singer added a heart. Lopez was also seen the night before on a date with A-Rod who used to be a baseball great who romanced Cameron Diaz and Madonna. He now has several businesses. Lopez has been busy in NYC shooting second act with Leah Ramini and Vanessa Hudgens. Jennifer and Alex first went public with their romance when they stormed the red carpet at the Met Gala in May, after which they have been seen on an array of romantic outings, with Sunday being the latest date. Their families have blended nicely, they have said. Speaking of Jennifer and his kids Ella, 9 and Natasha, 12, he told People magazine, she is such a great role model. They look at her like she's the messiah. When they're in Las Vegas, I don't think they'll leave Jennifer's side. My girls essentially hit the lottery. What 12-year-old and 9-year-old wouldn't feel like, oh my god, I'm the luckiest human being on the planet? They're super thrilled. Dot. Jennifer meanwhile added, I'm in a good relationship. I feel like I can say that for the first time, I don't know maybe ever. And not that I didn't have great relationships, full of love and adventure, but this is the first relationship I've been where I feel like we really make each other better. We complement each other, and there's really pure, true love. Just wanting to support the other person and make them happy. So there's a different selflessness in the love that's beautiful and different, and healthy.